Hey, what's going on? Have you seen my latest video about the Dragon X? For me, that topic was so amazing that I had to keep on experimenting. Because I think there's still a lot more room for a great image. That's why today it's getting very experimental and we're gonna create some cool glowing egg effects. But therefore, we have to dissolve the shell of an egg. Sounds strange? Here's what the video is all about. To be able to get those nice glowing egg images you just saw, we have to get rid of the shell of this egg. This is the egg after I've put it into the glass with vinegar. So the vinegar dissolves all the shell and just leave the membrane. And what is pretty crazy is that the size, the volume of this egg almost doubled. So if you want to know deeper information what is actually going on in the glass with the vinegar, I've put some information right here for you. Even though it was not really intended, the process of dissolving the actual brought up some nice bubbles. So I took my chance and got some pretty cool macros. What do you say? A couple of hours later, the bubbles grew and revealed some pretty interesting structures. A waste of time or pretty cool images? Because of all the bubbles at the eggshell, the egg suddenly rose up. So the top of the eggshell was not covered with vinegar anymore and the shell could not dissolve. So I had a pretty clever idea to put some stones. I just got those colorful stones here. In, put them into a plastic bag and that plastic bag on top of the egg to pull it down below the vinegar surface. The vinegar had not only dissolved parts of the plastic bag, but also parts of the stone. I'm not really sure if that was clever, but now I got a blue-green, somehow transparent looking easter egg. So I decided to take a second egg, put it into another glass of vinegar, so maybe we can have some totally different cool looking results at the end. After two more days, I wanted to see if the shell was completely removed from the eggs. And yeah, there was still some kind of crust and it was kind of gross. So I decided to put the eggs back into the vinegar and just look what happened to my semi precious stone. What a word. While the eggs were back in the vinegar, I had some time to shoot a nice time lapse with my second camera. And I had also time to keep on experimenting with other eggs. I took really a lot of very crappy, stupid, nonsense images and also a couple of very, very nice ones. But those images will be revealed next week in the next video. And now we got everything we need for our photography project. A translucent egg. Well, actually, I've put it back into fresh vinegar because I wanted to know if there's some more dissolving action going on, but that is actually the final product. A very, very soft and very, very big egg, and you can play a lot of with different light sources and create cool effects. And that's what we're gonna take a closer look right now. Well, the easiest way to use a flashlight like this, or maybe the flash of your smartphone, just use this light source, put it below that egg for example or point from another direction on the egg and just make it glow. Get creative and create your own composition for your special glowing egg images. Maybe you're still wondering how I created this dragon egg lookalike look. Dragon lookalike look, wow. I got a tutorial for you showing how I took this image and how you can easily recreate this image if you want to know more about this kind of stuff. What about this blue and green egg? Well, it is a little bit smaller than the other translucent egg, but actually it is not too special. It is nice to have another color to play around, but the effect is pretty the same. So you just get creative and have some fun using these toys for your next photography project. 